Hello friends, today we have started a new topic in the applied thermodynamics. Myself, Gaurav Jagdish Patak, and today we see a new topic in applied thermodynamics. The name of the topic is air compressor. So, friends, we can see a device which takes the definite quantity of air, generally in terms of gases and usually offers and delivered it with the high pressure to the required container is called air compressor. The air compressor takes the atmospheric air, compress it and deliver it to the storage vessel that is reservoir. Now compression required work is to be done on the air or most often gas is must be driven by some kind of prime mover and that is the engine that is piston cylinder arrangement is provided to achieve this work. The air which is compressed by the compressor is having most usable and it is essential for various processes in industry as well as it is required in the most of the mechanical energy required and process required such as in air conditioners, in cars and which are used in home appliances, also pneumatic devices which are used in workshops, that pneumatic tools for loosing and tightening of nut bolts, also industrial refrigeration, hydraulic compressors of industrial machine, air compressor for industrial manufacturing processes and there are many so kind of examples that are air, compressed air is very essential function for that particular purpose. So friends, these, some of these compressor are widely classified in front of your screen. You can see this classification of the various compressor. They are generally divided into reciprocating compressor, rotary compressor and the fixed type or derived from another uh, drive sourcing compressors. We can see them one by one, vent type, scroll type, red type, liquid ring, double acting, single acting, single stage, multi-stage. We can see all these types in one by one and the basic theory behind them one by one. Now we can see the positive displacement compressor. A positive displacement compressor causes the moment of trapping a fixed amount of air then the forcing or displacement that the tapered volume into the discharge pipe. It can be further classified according to the mechanism used for moving the air. Now the rotary compressor and reciprocating compressor are the two main dividing factors that are achieve this work. In front of your screen, you can see the positive displacement from compressors and these the main dividations are there that are reciprocating and rotary. In rotary compressors, there is the centrifugal uh, vents are provided which are totally rotating in uh, around the periphery of the circular disc and the, on the left side of it, we can see the air inlet from atmospheric temperature and pressure and by, 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 due to rotations of vanes, the temperature, uh, the pressure of the air is raised and it will deliver for the high pressure on the right hand side outlet. In the reciprocating compressor, there is an, a further divided, classified into two stages. That is on the basis of stages, that is how number of stages on the compressor, either single stage and multi-stage and as comparing to number of slides for piston in the operation that is single acting and double acting. These are the basic two types which can be seen easily in front of your screen. You can see the reciprocating and rotary compressor. Now reciprocating compressors can be seen with the help of positive displacement compressor 
that use the piston driven by the crankshaft to the deliver gases at the high pressure. The intake gas enters the suction manifolds, then it flows into the compression cylinder and it gets compressed. See, when we use the word gas, most often it is considered to be as air and it gets compressed by the piston driven in the reciprocating motion via crankshaft and discharges it at the high pressure. Reciprocating compressor details are here. You can see with the work diagram, the principle of operation of reciprocating compressor, you can see the figure shows that the single acting piston is action in the moving mode with the orange line supply is the outlet power and with the blue line supply is the inlet mode. A reciprocating motion of the piston compresses and gives the high pressure delivered the air by the orange side you can see. The piston is driven by the crank shaft via the connecting rod. At the top of the cylinder is a suction wall and discharge wall. Only two walls are there which provides the suction air from the atmosphere and the discharge wall to the uh, reservoir or container. A reciprocating compressor are used as two, three or four or maybe sometimes it can be taken six cylinders. So as the requirement of uh, compressed air is large, then you can use a six cylinder engine for compressing the air. Now, what it is the same working condition as compared with the uh, engine of two-stroke cycle that are four stages, suction, compression, power exhaust, but among uh, there is the fuel use, here we can use the compressed air for the particular purpose. That is, first you can see in the block, uh, line diagram in front of your screen, the generator, first of all the suction compression, power and exhaust. At the suction stroke which sucks the atmospheric air, it rotates through 180 degree, two, two strokes are completed and next two, in the next two stroke it will compresses the air with the high pressure. Now volumetric efficiency, it is the most important technical aspect for volumetric efficiency. We can see the volumetric efficiency is the clearance volume between the walls of the piston and the walls and piston side of the reciprocating compressor. The effective swept volume from a PV diagram we can see V1 to V4 is the ratio of volumetric efficiency. The volumetric efficiency for is given by a notation N volumetric and it is always V P1 upon P4 raised to gamma minus gamma upon N or minus 1. The swept volume we can calculate it by using this formula and the total volume from point V1 to V1 to V6 can be calculated by using this. The volumetric efficiency is totally calculated with the swept volume and calculations from the graphical representation as well as mathematical calculations for this formula. Now, Actual PV diagram, there are the line in front of your screen which are indicated the portion of hatch line. It is the bounce, wall bouncing area and in reciprocating compressor from stage 2 to 3 and for, from stage 1 to 4, the wall bounce area is the one of the most important aspect which losses the various kind of uh, air leakages in this. There must be the pressure difference across the wall to open. It is very essential to operate the cycle smoothly and inlet wall inertia by dropping the continuous and sufficient level for the forces that eventually the pressure sit down at the level of lower atmospheric pressure and this negative pressure difference is known as intake. Now we can calculate the free air delivered that is we can say FAD free air delivered can be reduced to the atmospheric temperature and pressure of free air delivered. P1 V1 upon T1 is equals to 
always P1 V1 upon T1 and P2 V2 upon T2, where the P1 is always 101.325 kN per meter square and temperature is always 15 degree Celsius which is 288 degree Kelvin. Now how we can calculate the efficiency that is it is the ratio of isothermal power to the indicated power and isothermal efficiency is of the shaft power is always brake power required to drive the compressor. The mechanical efficiency of the reciprocating compressor is nothing but the indicated power to the shaft power. Now how we can increase the isothermal efficiency? The compression stroke and object to the cool must be determined that the required the special gear for injection and injected water infrared with the cylinder lubrication and to, co to avoid the damage of cylinder walls and leakages. And for the same function at the same time isothermal efficiency can be raised with the high speed and high pressure ratio of compressor and external fins which can be provided on the cylinder top head that moderate level up to moderate level it can be uh, uh, raise the temperature which will be heat dissipation will be maximum and at the same time the temperature will be reach up to moderate level. The clearance volume, swept volume and effective clearance volume that are the some parameters which affect the efficiency of the compressor. So friends, this is all about the reciprocating air compressor. We can see the next topic in the same time and same manner. Thank you. Thank you very much.